Oh, yeah. You got me careful. Good morning and a happy new year to you. It is Saturday today. We are um, well into 2020 now. Well, a week in. I've been back at school for a week. Um, I already feel like I've been back for months already. It's going well. Um, all good in the hood. There was a couple of things I wanted to mention. Um, first of all, I am kicking off this year by reading uh, The Testaments by Margaret Atwood. Um, I saw that this was rated like the best book of 2019 on Goodreads, so I was like, well, I'm gonna need to read it then, aren't I? Um, so I've got that. I'm about halfway through. I am enjoying it, but I'm quite excited to just finish and start something else, so we'll see um, how that goes. But I also bought myself a load of new books to read this year. I've got them all lined up behind the camera there, piled up. I'm very excited to get started on getting through them. That is my target for 2020. Actually, I'll just show you. These are the books that I've got lined up for 2020. Um, there's some in there that you might recognise, some that have been really well um, uh, rated recently, like Queenie, Find Me, My Sister the Serial Killer, When All Is Said, Red, White and Royal Blue. You, oh my god, you. Elliot and I have just recently been binge watching you and we love it, don't we? So good. I've watched both seasons. Elliot's only watched the second one. Annoyingly, he's going to go back and watch the I first one. I watched the second one because you watched the first one and I decided to be a dutiful boyfriend and let you watch the second one with me. But you love it, don't you? So good. So good. And I really fancy Joe. And do you mind filming for me? I want to show them my new jacket. Nope. Get Joe to do it. Yeah, sure. So, um, as you may well know, I'm training to be a DT teacher in school. I, I've been teaching DT and art. And um, for Christmas last year, or for my birthday, was it? Elliot's mum bought me um, a really nice navy blue apron, which no, I wear birthday. every day for my birthday. And it's got one little pocket on the front, but although it is perfect for what I need it for, uh, the pocket is just not big enough because I need a stash full of equipment for all the students that forget their stuff. So, um, I got one of these, which is what the other DT teachers at my school wear. It's like the full overall like lab coat. Wait, let me pull my sleeves out because it looks a bit cooler with something on there. I think you need to go over there. Over here? It's from Dickies, so it's like super cool workwear. Just pop us down. Do you reckon if you say it's cool enough, it becomes cool? <laughs> it is cool. It is cool, it is cool. And Shall I do I've a full length? Three pockets to fill with pencils and sharpeners and whiteboard pens. Um, and I'm going to embroider like Miss Murray in chain stitch on the pocket as well to be like really cute and quirky. Um, what else is new this year? Have you gone through the fact that you everything. need to read a million books? Yeah. Um, you love you. I love me. And you love me. And I love you. Okay, <laughs> that was very, very well done there. I see what you did. Nice. Right, cool. We're just going to go and run some errands down the high street. We need to go to the post office. We need to go to Boots. We need to go to the dry cleaners. And then we're going for a nice country walk with Ozzy and my sister later on, are we? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> you may, may remember before Christmas my beloved car, Mr. Bonoffi, um, has kind of died a death. He hasn't actually died a death, but he is on death's doorstep, isn't he? Yeah, he is. There is one chance at life left, and that chance is in the hands of Nick Van Murray, so we're waiting to see what's going to happen. But in the meantime, this is my new car. It's, it's a right. Honda Jazz. It's right, it? <laughs> There's a lot wrong with it. Um, <laughs> the radio doesn't work, the lights inside don't work, the locks don't work. It's got a special paint job. Um, it's a few different colours of red, it yeah. It smells so bad inside. Yeah, well Dad got it shampooed for me, but because the seats are still wet, every morning when I wake up the whole car is like filled with condensation. So I'm actually surprised that today, oh yeah, we've been having to sit on bin bags. <laughs> but I was actually surprised to see that it's not filled with condensation today, which means that we're getting somewhere. But anyway, the guy at the car wash gave me these to, um, <laughs> to help with <laughs> the condensation each morning. Do you mind just shoving them in for me? Yeah, it's sure. so funny. It is automatic, so that's quite fun, at least. Is that open? Should do. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> We've oh, well. Stop it! I hate it when you do that. We just got back like from Hayward Heath High Street, so strap yourselves in for Hayward Heath High Street Hall. Here we go. First up, I got a new frame from the charity shop. This was two pounds. Recently, I've been buying loads of frames and sp spraying them black. There's one over there. Um, because I've been buying a lot of art recently and I want to start kind of getting together things for when Elliot and I have a house. So um, this is an A3 one, which I've already got two prints in mind for. So that's good, that's two pounds. This was also from the charity shop. Um, we saw this last weekend and we didn't buy it and then I was thinking about it in the week and I had a dream about it a few nights ago and I was like, oh, I wish I'd bought that. So it's a Sainsbury's Blue Stilton ceramic pot, but it's from 
1983, which I think is so cool. And I thought, um, I'm gonna get rid of the lid and then have a nice candle in there. I thought that'd be really sweet. Also from the charity shop, I got a little brooch. Um, I'm kind of into brooches at the moment. I know they're like super old school, but I'm kind of just digging them. And also I dropped my coat off at the dry cleaners to be all nice, so this will be nice on my coat when that's done. <sighs> what else? Two bars of soap, some head and shoulders, um, nail files and nail scissors, and my concealer. That is everything. We've just picked up Lou and Ozzy, and we've come up to Allborn for um, Ozzy's regular walk. Where is he? Oh, there. <laughs> Have Louise's dream house. We've had to pause to have a look at it. They've even got her dream car too. Ah, so nice. We're back from our walk. Bye. And Elliot is gonna drive um, Frangipan Cherries for the first time. This car is an automatic and Elliot's never driven an automatic before, but I was like, it's so fun. It's easy as like a go-kart. The most important thing is that you just let your left leg do nothing. Like, you can't press the brake and accelerator at the same time because you'll just you stall, I think. Okay. Feel comfortable? So, how does so it So, you have drive? to put your foot on the brake and then press the button on this and pull it down to D, okay. which is drive, and then handbrake off. And off oh, we I go. I don't like it at all. God. Tonight I am going for dinner at Jodie's house. She is cooking dinner for me, which I'm very excited about. That's in Worthing. And um, because I'm dairy free at the moment, I'm like that annoying person that comes around for dinner, but you have restrictions on what you can cook for them. So I thought it would be nice if I kind of make my own pudding and take that round to her. So I've just been having a look at some recipes and I found one for zucchini brownies, which is courgette oh, yeah. brownies. Um, and they're vegan, but that's by the by, but they look really good. So we've got a few hours now until Elliot's gonna leave. So um, we thought we would pop down to the Sainsbury's Lake or just walk down after we check our ingredients. Just wait, because I've already started coming down. Um, and, uh, and we're gonna make some um, courgette brownies. So we'll see how that goes. The courgette brownie mix is just resting and hopefully releasing its moisture. <laughs> Mum doesn't approve. <laughs> she thinks they're going to be disgusting. Oh, it smells good. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. Anything with cocoa in it is going to smell good. That's true. Yummy. They're ready to go in the oven and they are looking absolutely delish. I have very high hopes for these. She says Even the batter too. is delish. This is the best sous chef I've ever had. He even does the washing up, which I'm sure that Jules is thrilled about. Well, because people come in. My brownie has cooled down, but I fear that it's too gooey. Okay. So... <laughs> I just think it's going to fall apart. Ooh, it looks gooey. Is that a good sign or a bad well, sign? Well, it can be too gooey. Yeah, that could have done with another five minutes. It's not a disaster, though. Do you want to grab a little plate and we'll have a corner one and see what it's like? Yeah. I've made it to Jodie's house earlier than expected. Sorry, that's actually rude, isn't it? To turn no, up early. Of course it's not. She's in her little paramedic uniform. So cute with your little name oh, on it. God. Proud of you. Oh, hi. Mm. <laughs> I've made us some uh, fake bellinis with mango juice rather than peach. Some cocktail Alexa. cherries Alexa. and prosecco. Stop. Sorry, I'm really trouble. <laughs> It's all right. Okay, Here you go. Thank you very much. Cheers. Oh, that's good. Cheers. Thanks for cooking me dinner. Also oh, yeah. matching. Dinner is served. We have got duck breast, which is my number one favourite, in plum sauce with green beans, which are my number one favourite veg, <laughs> and roast potatoes, which I thought I had recently nailed, but these ones are looking much nicer than mine. And you'll be uh, delighted to hear that they're one of my January favourites, roast potatoes. Oh, good. Yeah. Good. Yeah, the garlic. Not necessarily, but yeah, why not? Is that a thing? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going in for the courgette brownies. We're also watching The Masked Singer, although that doesn't 
I think that's an advert. I want to film your reaction to the brownies because Jodie just sniffed them and said they smelled funky and funky is not a word you want your brownies funky. described as. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say it's a good word, but maybe not brownies. <laughs> Remember I bought you mini eggs if you don't like it. <laughs> Can you taste the courgette? No. Mm. They're very, they're a nice texture. Good. Mm. Texture 10 out of 10. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll just take that. <laughs> That's the remote. You're mean. I like them. We have just watched an episode of Naked Attraction and we are off to bed now. The, um, what's it called? Heated blanket is yep. on. Yeah. Luke's away on a course, so. This is my side of the bed tonight. <laughs> Sorry, Luke, you have been eliminated. Um, and um, Jodie was just showing her her guest box of, of toiletries that I can raid, which I'm excited about. Uh, but thanks for watching this vlog. Good night. Good night. <laughs>